Hey guys, welcome back. This is part two of the 10 most anticipated Malayalam movies of 2022. If you missed my first part, I'm going to share the link in the description below and also link at the end of the video. So check it out. Now I'm going to continue with the remaining movies on the list. But before I go into the top five, there are two movies I believe that does not quite make the cut for the top five however they are somewhere in between the bottom five and the top five therefore i'm creating a list known as almost top five okay almost top five there are two movies like i explained they didn't quite make the cut because i believe the movies in the top five are simply outrank them for various reasons to start things off movie number two that is in the almost top five list is Thoramogam, starring Nivin Pauli, directed by Rajiv Ravi. Now, director Rajiv Ravi initially started his career as a cinematographer and has worked in quite a number of projects, whether it be in Malayalam, Hindi, Tamil, Telugu, etc. So, as a director, he's done some good work also. Unnamed Rasulum, Nyan Steve Lopez, Kambati Padam. These movies come to my mind. Now, Thoramogam is a period action drama and it's a big budget movie. Uh, there's actually quite a big star cast in this movie with Nivin Pauli as the leading man. Unfortunately, due to various reasons, this movie has been delayed quite a number of times. In fact, the initial release date for this was somewhere, uh, I think in May or 2021. Uh, then it got postponed to August, then it got to December, then it got to January, and then again here, May of this year. Uh, but again, they've postponed the release of it for various reasons. So I think it's been in, you know, it's been stuck for a year right now, but I, hopefully they'll release it this year. Uh, it's, it's supposed to have a big star cast and it's supposed to be a big project also. Uh, so hopefully they'll release it too here. I certainly think it's great. There, there was a teaser out for Thurumbogam. It looked really, really interesting. Uh, hope they'll release it this year. Movie number one on my almost top five list is Mahavirir, again starring uh, Nivin Pauli as well as Asif Ali. The movie is directed by Abrid Shine. Abrid Shine is one of my favorite directors working in the Malayalam movie industry. Some of his work, be it Action Hero Biju or 983, are some of my favorite movies. Uh, I admit his last movie, Kung Fu Master, didn't really work for me. Uh, but having said that, you know, Mahavir looks like a uh, really interesting movie. It, it, it looks like there is a lot, it's, it looks like a fantasy drama and there are, uh, you know, I believe I've read somewhere that there's time travel involved. So it's a fantasy drama slash sci-fi uh, movie. We haven't seen a lot of that in uh, Malayalam. So you know, a lot of excitement around it. It's also supposed to be a really funny action, uh, comedy piece also with an ensemble cast. So, you know, I saw the teaser again. I thought it was looked really interesting uh, but you know again waiting for the main trailer and of course the release date uh, most probably yes they will you know they did announce that they plan to release it this year uh, so let's say Mahavirir so that's it for my almost top five list now we are moving into the top five or in other words top 10 movies part two number five on my list is Puru, starring megastar Mamuti, uh, directed by debutant Radina P.T. The movie also stars Parvati Tiruvottu and the late Nanmudi Venu. Now there's a lot of mystery surrounding this project. They put out a teaser and a trailer and apart from coming up with a few theories that it might be a crime thriller or a psychological thriller, we don't know much about the plot. Parvati commented that Mamuti, after acting in over four decades in Malayana cinema, he's doing a character that he hasn't done before. So that's the biggest excitement when it comes to this project. I just can't imagine a character that Mamuti hasn't done before. Uh, even if it's a villain, Mamuti has done that. In the 90s, there was a movie called Vide. Uh, that was Mamuti in his uh, in a in the role of a, a slave owner, and probably in his most cruelest role ever. That character is nothing short of a cruel dictator who treats his slaves like animals. So I'm genuinely curious about you know what Parvati said you know what kind of character is he playing in this movie? Uh, well, we'll find out this weekend, right? So <laughs> I'm really looking forward to this. I'll probably watch it at midnight itself. Uh, so Puru is streaming on uh, you know will be will be streaming on uh, Sony Live. Initially, they did plan to release in theaters. You know there was a little bit of back and forth, uh, but finally they uh, decided it'll be coming out on Sony Live. Uh, so yeah, looking forward to it. <laughs> Number four on my list is another Mammutti movie and this movie is also being produced by Mammutti. It's called Nanpagal Nairatha Mayakam. I hope I got the pronunciation right. <laughs> 
directed by the extremely versatile Lijo Palisheri. This is another project that has piqued my interest. I have absolutely no idea what to expect from this movie, and uh, you know that's kind of the signature when it comes to Lijo Palisheri. You just don't know what to expect, and it's just one hell of an experience, regardless of what movie he puts out. All that I heard about this movie, it has something to do with sleeping. There was a teaser that came out last month, and it showed a whole village just sleeping, and apparently in the middle of the day or afternoon. No idea when this movie is coming out. Hopefully it's soon. I have no idea if it's going to be a OTT release or a movie theater release. Hopefully we'll know about it soon. But uh, definitely, I can say this movie is definitely on my top five list. Uh, I can't wait. Number three on my list is Twelfth Man, starring our complete actor Mohanlal. And the movie is directed by Jitu Joseph. The movie also has an ensemble cast, and the story is supposed to take place over one night in probably one location. I guess, at least from the trailer, that's the feeling I got. Now, this is a mystery thriller, and I read somewhere it's uh, inspired from an Agatha Christie novel or some of her stories. Luckily, we don't have to wait that long. This movie will be streaming on Disney Plus Hotstar on May 20th. Another movie I'll probably watch at 12 in the morning as soon as it's released. After Drishim One and Drishim Two, I can only imagine what. Jitu Joseph and Mohanlal are going to deliver with Twelfth Man, and I'm hoping it's another Drishya. Director Jitu Joseph has a special talent for building suspense and delivering edgy thrillers that leaves you shocked and satisfied. Hopefully, Twelfth Man is going to be one of those experiences. Number two on my list is Gold, starring Prithviraj Sugumaran, Nayan Thara, directed by Alphonse Putran. Now, there's a lot to be excited when it comes to this movie. The first time pairing of Prithviraj and Nayan Thara. two big superstars not just in the malayalam film industry but all over the south also the first time prithviraj and alphonse putran are working together also the first time nayanthara and alphonse putran are working together also the first time alphonse putran is making a movie after the blockbuster premium which released 7 years ago that's right 7 years ago and prithviraj is also producing this movie which means there's something new and exciting in the script which made him decide to produce this movie in the first place just like the previous alphonse putran movies no details of this movie has been released so far A teaser was released some time ago where we saw two guys stealing something in the middle of the night uh, in a truck. Uh, Prithviraj sees them, he walks towards them and he kicks one of them. Uh, cut to a scene where Nayanthar is uh, sitting on a bed or a chair and looking towards the camera and smiling. You know, that's all we got. <laughs> Again, no idea. But you know, the music, the I don't know, the pictureization, how it was framed. You know, it was all classic Alphonse Putran. There was a lot of something flavorful over there. And uh, as soon as I saw it, the word blockbuster came to my mind. Now, Premam was a landmark movie for Malayalam. It was not just a big blockbuster in Kerala. It was also a big success in Tamil Nadu. You know, here we are with this next venture. We'll see what happens. Right now, I just think that this movie is ready-made blockbuster. Bring it on! Like, and now for my number one movie on my list. What do you think? Uh huh. <laughs> okay, guess it's time for a little twist since we are at the end. Uh, it's not one movie; it's three movies. Uh, honestly, when I think of these three projects, I just feel like there's enough novelty over there. They kind of stay ahead from the entire pack of movies I've described so far. And uh, you know, I can't decide between the three which one comes at the top. All three have its own uniqueness. Uh, all three, you know, there's something novel going on with all three, and uh, I'm excited for all three equally. Uh, for that reason, they are all number one. Uh, so here is my number one list. To start things off, one of the movies on this list is Baros. directed and starring the complete actor superstar mohanlal now this is a 3d fantasy uh, adventure movie uh, mostly directed towards kids and family audience it's a really big budget project that's how they described it and of course the biggest novelty about this project is that mohanlal after acting in movies for over 40 years you know he's uh, going to direct a movie and i'm really excited to see what his vision will be like uh, you know this is uh, not just one of the biggest superstars in malayalam uh, he's also a very senior and celebrated actor uh, you know all over india various actors know him respect him admire him appreciate him uh, so with all this experience you know this actor is now going to direct a movie and you know again it's a fantasy it's an adventure so there's visual effects things like that but more than that you know with all this experience under his belt i'm excited to see what this actor is going to bring to on the screen as a director what his vision is going to be like so that's something that really excites me uh, so yes baros is definitely on my list and like i said it's one of the movies in my number one list The next movie on my list is 
Rorschach starring Megastar Bamu team directed by Nisam Bashir now i already did a video on uh, you know Rorschach sharing my ideas and theories etc i'm going to place the link in the description so do check it out if you haven't seen it all i can say is that based on the ideas i have Rorschach is going to be extremely uh, something new and exciting we haven't seen before in malayalam uh, i can't wait to see what they've done with that movie i can't wait to see it and i'm definitely going to see this in a movie theater uh, probably first day for sure <laughs> since i've already done a video on rorschach i'm not going to talk much about it please do check the link in the description all i'm going to say is that you know uh, with respect to both mamuti and mohanlal you know here you have two actors are you know it's not just that they're well beyond their prime also but still they are in their 60s and 70s respectively not that age is something that you know limits you but the fact remains that even at this age after doing so many movies they still have so much passion in them to do uh, new and exciting stuff to take risks etc so once again i can't help but admire our two great uh, superstars of malayalam cinema the kind of projects they take up the kind of passion they have i think all of us can look at them as examples for uh, you know chasing our passion or our dreams and never to ha- let anything hold you back in their case their age or experience can be a big factor in you know them saying i don't have to do this i have all the money i have all the accolades i have all the awards i have all the app- appreciation i don't need to do this at my age you know they can easily say that but they don't they they you know more than ready to take on more projects etc so uh, you know truly i really really admire them for what they're doing uh, but uh, you know so like everyone else i'm excited for these movies i'm going to check it out so that's roshak and the final movie on my list is aade jeevitham starring prithviraj kumar and directed by blessy uh again i don't know a lot about it and i'm actually keeping away from the spoilers ardijism is it's actually based of a short story i haven't researched anything about it because i don't want to find out any kind of spoilers i want to watch this movie without any spoilers anything like that i just want to see the vision on screen uh you know according to prithviraj in his interview he's kind of been working on this project for 4 years now since 2018 uh and uh, right now apparently they are in the shooting the final schedule uh also with respect to rorschach and uh, you know baros also they are also shooting right now and probably in the final schedules so one uh, kind of a disclaimer with respect to all all these three movies i'm not sure if they are going to come out this year itself i'm hoping since they are in the final schedule i believe you know they might come out this year so that's what is on the list and uh, now again coming to uh, this rdg with them prithviraj title character uh according to him he's shot this movie in deserts in intense climates uh you know he lost a lot of weight for his role in fact he said it's very unhealthy and he wouldn't recommend it to others and uh you know if he had to do another project with this kind of uh, conditions he wouldn't take it on because he said it you know it affected his health a lot but now having said that you know there's a lot of uh, not just hype you know it's the making the effort that's gone to making this movie is quite remarkable apparently blessy Uh, came up with this idea of wanted to do this project back in 2008 so he's been developing it since 2008 just think about that one literally this movie has been in the making for 14 years uh, to give you a good idea <laughs> that's the same time james cameron took for developing avatar i'm not saying rdg is going to be something like avatar but uh the fact remains that you know there's so much passion and hard work going 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 behind a project like this so you know one can only imagine what will be on screen uh definitely excited for this one you know i don't think it's going to be a mass commercial movie but more like a real intense experience or intense storytelling experience that's what you want to witness on screen uh no idea what the project is about but definitely i'm going to keep away from the spoilers also i know there's a short book there i'm not going to re- research it about it on the internet uh, i definitely want to be surprised with this movie so going to check it out in the theater uh yeah so with that i come to the end of my list and my top 10 most anticipated malayalam movies of 2022 please share your feedback in the comment sections i would like to know your thoughts and opinion about my list if there's any movie i've missed please let me know also you know if you have your own list please share them below i would love to read them as always if you like this video hit the thumbs up icon and of course subscribe to my channel for more videos like this thank you guys for watching have a great day bye